Exactly one month into Afghanistan's new reality, these are Kabul's streets, full of Taliban fighters and women, many completely covered. It's an Islamic society and there's no need to tell them to wear the hijab. Everyone is obeying anyway. If Taliban fighters feel certain on the streets, speculation swirls of grave instability within the top leadership. This is Mullah Abdul Ghani Barada, the Taliban's co-founder who led negotiations with the U.S. There are reports of a major row at the presidential palace last week. Barada clashing with Khalil Urrahman Haqqani, a fellow cabinet member on the left, prominent in the militant Haqqani network. Denying any such incident, the Taliban released a handwritten note from a Barada deputy saying his boss was in the city of Kandahar. Then this audio message purportedly from the man himself. I've been on the move for the past few days and where I am now we are fine with my brothers and friends. The media always spreads false propaganda. One longtime Afghanistan watcher says if Barada is dead, it would be a blow for peace. It's terrible timing for them um, to lose a very senior leader, and one in particular who has the best prospects uh, for um, repairing Taliban relations with foreign countries, particularly the West. So it, you can understand why, if indeed he has been killed, the Taliban will be covering this up uh, while they figure out the consequences and what they can do about it. It's not just Barada whose status is a mystery. This is Haibatullah Ahunzada, the current supreme leader, not seen since Kabul fell. Fears now of factional warfare ahead. There's real potential for nothing short of a civil war between the Haqqani network and the southern Taliban. And the implications for the Afghan people is, are profound because the Afghan the Afghan, Afghanistan as a state is facing economic collapse. To the world, though, the acting foreign minister was projecting business as usual. In his first media conference, thanking global donors for their aid pledges while urging the U.S. to release frozen cash. The United States are a great country, so it should have great patience. It should not punish but help a weak and poor nation like Afghanistan. A nation with woes that look set to escalate if the worst fears are realised.